Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am going to explore in detail training about landed cost, its impact based on the split method. So let's see how you know any business who are doing manufacturing or trading can get benefit of passing additional cost of goods when they are purchasing and bringing them in their warehouse and how the splitting of landed cost can apply on different type of goods and its impact. So this video will be going to be the bigger one. So let's start with our configuration. So this is a fresh instance where I have enabled landed cost and then I will say I will create a new miscellaneous type journal for landed cost over here after enabling that and saving it. Now I go to product categories and over here I will create a new landed cost type you know product where I have set income and expense account as stock interim account. So whatever is my landed cost service type product, it will be set over here. And then for regular goods, I will create my products inside this goods type product. So I will say product one, I want to share, uh, track the inventory. Then only it will be apply, you know, the landed cost. And the type is goods, the category type is goods. And then I have set all the properties like it will be measured with average cost and then automated stock valuation only. So landed cost can only apply where your product is measured with FIFO or average costing method, which is very well documented inside Udo. Now this product one, it will auto update the cost and then I will create a landed cost item, which is maybe different type of, you know, cost like rate charges which is you know going to be used as a service and then in purchase I will enable this cost and here is the main purpose of this video I need to define the split method of this freight charges so first of all let's see how equal method works when we define equal method then how it will apply so freight charges are enable purchase and then define is landed cost checkbox enabled and then define equal splitting method. Now I will go to my regular product. Product one is already there. Let me create a new product. Product two within same category. Let me create product three in the same category. So I have created three product. I have defined my landed cost. Now I am going to purchase those goods from my vendor. So let me go quickly to catalog. There might be some issues. So let me just select product one, product two, and product three. And here for product one, I am buying 10 unit at 10 rupees each. Then I am buying 20 product at 10 rupees each. And then I am buying 30 at 10 rupees each. So I am buying three different product, three different quantities with same price. And I am confirming this order. And then I am receiving this. So as soon as I receive this, let's see our ledger position so ledger is my general ledger where inventory will be incoming and will be debited and then counterpart received account is credited as soon as i you know create a bill then my interim account will be settled over here and then it will create counterpart creditors entry as a payable now what i need to do is i need to pass a landed cost over here 
so I go to vendor bills directly and create like you know a new vendor rate service supplier and then I will use my rate product over here so I will say rate charges it will automatically take my account over here and then I wish to apply let's say 100 rupees of freight charges I save it and then I will go and create a landed cost and then I have to connect my inward receipt from my original PO that is inward one let me show you where it is coming from so from my purchase order I will go to my receipt and this receipt I need to connect in my landed cost transaction and then method is equal and then it will compute and adjust valuation equally so over here you can see like original value was 100 new value is 133 original value was 200 were 20 the new value is 233 and original value was 300 and the new value is 333 so with the splitting method is equal it has equally distributed this 100 rupees of cost in all three different product without discrimination with actual quantity so with split method when it is equal it will equally divide for number of product items with division of actual cost you are passing equally so that's how this equal method work now the second example if i say i want to divide by quantity the beauty of this split method is when i recompute it will automatically adjust my value with based on my number of units so let's say my total additional cost was 100 rupees and I want to divide with 10, 20, 30 total 60 units. Then it will equally divide those 60 units divide by 100 and then multiply by 10. Then it will come to 16.67 as an additional landed cost for this 10 unit only. For 20 unit it will increase to double and for 30 units it, it will triplicate the 16 rupees. So if you consider here like you are you know divide your additional cost with respect to your received quantity and that's how it will pass the new value over here based on the number of quantity so this method is appropriate when you have multiple quantity coming at different parameter or different unit of measure and then you have to adjust the additional cost equally based on the product number of units so the second method is by quantity now if i apply by current cost so what odoo will do odoo will you know pass this particular method almost similar way you can see 100 become 116 so this similar way it has divide by current cost because if you remember my product cost was same over here 10 you know rupees per unit for each and every item so for this let me you know create another example let me just put division by quantity and then just validate this and close this transaction so let me enable this as a reconciliation then only it will allow me to pass the bill so automatically my product valuation got impacted with 10 plus landed cost here 10 plus and 10 plus landed cost now let me create a new order for a new example so let me just duplicate this order right now and now let me change the unit price this was 10 this becomes 12 
this become let's say 15 so I am changing the unit price of each item and confirming the order and then Odoo has it automatically enable price comparison based on your previous so it is a new feature in Odoo let me go to receipt and validate this so my inward is 0002 and then I will create a bill and finish this transaction now what I will do is I will go to my accounting create a new vendor bill for my freight service provider use the same freight charges where I want to pass let's say 120 units of landed cost and then I create and then I am changing the method so if I say equally it will distribute 40 rupees each so to connect that I have to connect the transfer press the compute and then 40 rupees each it has divided 140 then here 280 and there 490 becomes so 100 becomes 140 240 becomes 280 and 450 rupees of original value becomes 490 so it is divided equally with number of line items now if I change it to by current cost and recompute then Odoo has automatically computed based on the original value so my original value was 100 to 40 and 450 respectively so based on that Odoo has passed those 120 rupees division according to 100 rupees 240 rupees and 450 rupees so that's why the additional landed cost you can see 15 rupees 36 and 68 rupees respectively it calculated based on my original value previously in previous example the value was same it was 10 rupees per unit here 10 12 and 15 rupees per unit so who has automatically adjusted the additional landed cost based on the value so that's how this three method has worked till now and then I compute and then we can finish off this transaction now to use another two example by weight and by volume what we have to do so this particular by current cost will definitely benefit a large trading business who are buying in containers uh, 100, 400, 500, 1000 items coming in one container with various quantity and various original value and they have to divide the actual freight, shipping or any other cost by original valuation so they can increase the cost component marginally by original cost of component so they can use preferably by current cost only by quantity is secondary method they can choose according to their accounting practices now let's see how to apply the fourth and fifth method by weight and by volume so what we will do is we will go to our product master and then over here in inventory we have to give you know this two parameter then it will be going to calculate my additional component based on this two parameter so let me just finish this transaction first because it was already received my weight was not there but if I recompute yeah it has applied based on the weight so 10 unit with 10 kg it has applied 8.57 with 20 units 2 kg each so if I you know open an excel and then if I want to you know bring this quantity posting over there let's say to give you a high level of working difference now how this is coming so over here with 100 rupees of original but let me introduce a new column like weight so if I say weight weight was 1 kg each 2 kg each and 3 kg each and then 
if I calculate ten unit of one kg each, and then it will give me weight base calculation. So my hundred and twenty rupees over here would require to distribute according to the weight. So let's say my 120 rupees was original and then I am dividing by weight and then by product. So this will definitely not going to serve our purpose. 10 kg, 40 kg, 90 kg was the original weight with number of units. So what Odoo has does is it has divided 120 kg with total was 90, 40, so 140. So if I say 140, it come to this particular weight composition and then it is dividing multiply by this so e2 with j1 so that's how this 8.57 will come then this e2 multiply by this this will come and then e2 multiply by this this will come so you can see how Uru has distributed based on weight 8.57 is matching 34.29 is matching and 77.14 is matching so that's how Uru has calculated based on weight and pass the landed cost now let's see if i say by volume because my volume was almost similar that's why it passed by same so if i change the volumetric you know situation by something new value and then I go and reapply based on volume it will divide according to volumetric weight based on this so you can even check in your excel manually so accurately Uru has passed based on volume like this calculation so based on 10 multiply by volume of 2.5 it will recalculate so what it will do it will calculate volume of all three quantities respectively which is volumetric weight and then divide this 120 accordingly so in different business in different method you can apply this particular landed cost according to your business needs so mostly this is used widely widely when you are importing something overseas or when you have a, a variety of additional component of cost which are levied on your purchase when it reach to your warehouse you have to apply a lot of cost and then you have to reach to actual valuation of your product so that whenever you sell you can actually see your cost and your profit accordingly so hope you guys have learned how the split method inside landed cost works when you are purchasing and receiving your goods and dividing your landed cost according to the split method and get benefit of which method to use in what scenarios. Thank you guys. Good day.